Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to a game called Shut In. Now, check this out, everybody. This game is a dark comedy slash psychological horror adventure, which explores depression and isolation by trapping you inside your own home. Your task is simple. Get out of bed, go outside, and get some fresh air. I think your boy is more than capable of handling that. We are going to get some fresh air right now. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go. Attention, this game deals with themes of agoraphobia, isolation, and self-doubt, inspired by the author's personal experience with depression. Player discretion is advised. Come on then, it's time to get up. I'm trying, I'm pressing everything I can. These little piggly wigglies can't press hard enough, or maybe not. You could always stay in bed, I suppose, if that's what you really want. So, what it be? What it be? What am I even talking about? Get up or snooze? I'm gonna get up, right now. I'm getting up so hard. There, that wasn't so hard, was it? By the way, you might want to get changed. Put some proper clothes on. Maybe a pair of shoes. Something a bit less sweaty. Just head over to the wardrobe when you're ready. And if you need to save your progress, you can set yourself some reminders at the alarm clock next to your bed. After all, you have a busy day ahead, right? Bed, there's a lump in the mattress. Your pajamas are comfortable, but not exactly practical. Get changed, get dressed. I would stay comfy, but you can still stay comfy and look a little snazzy. Ah. That's better, much more presentable. Your hair needs brushing, but you'd need a hairbrush. You should probably have a bite to eat too. You look malnourished. Oh, and wash your face. Also, your breath stinks. Your mom stinks and her breath. The list is endless, really. You don't seem to take very good care of yourself, but congratulations on getting dressed at least. Anyway, hurry up. You have a busy day ahead and it's already getting late. Head outside and get some fresh air, yeah. <coughs> Did you guys hear me? I was like, yeah. <coughs> I can't even breathe fresh air. I'm breathing my freaking stinky ass breath. So the drawer is jammed shut. That's odd. The door is locked. You remember seeing a key around here somewhere. Have a look around. Maybe you can dig it out. So it's gonna be one of these games where you can't actually do things. The bin is half filled with miscellaneous rubbish. Most of it looks like junk food, but you can't quite see all the way to the bottom. Rummage through the bin? Yes, let's dive in. Maybe I'll find my key. Maybe I accidentally threw it away. Let's see what he found. Congratulations, you found more rubbish. <laughs> Would you like to take some with you? Why not? Really? Absolutely, or this is silly. abso freaking lutely da, da, da. Fine, whatever you need. I'm sure it will come in handy eventually. Obtained rubbish, yeah buddy. Your computer is plugged into the wall, buzzing away faintly. Good thing it's still working. How else would you waste away your whole life? Okay, well, I mean, I didn't want you to get that deep. There isn't anything useful on the computer. But you're trying your best to beat your high score on Battle Kittens 4 Super Force. Play some video games? Just one try. One try wouldn't hurt. <laughs> Sounds like I'm winning. Maybe I got the high score. Nine hours later? What the hell? You didn't beat your high score. Damn, I must be hungry as balls nine hours later. The bottom drawer is empty, but the top one is jammed shut. Something inside must be blocking the mechanism. Underneath the bed, through several layers of dust and hair, there's a small metal key. You're not sure how it got there. Take the key? Yes. Obtain small key. Okay, so that small key must be the big way that I can get out of this door. I have no idea why I said the big way. The door is still locked. Perhaps instead of just trying to open it anyway, you should actually use the key that you just found. You do remember how to use items, right? No. I think it's escape. Inventory. Okay, so I have rubbish. <laughs> Looks like dog shit. A plain metal key that you found under the bed. All right, let's open this shit so hard. Use the small key on the bedroom door. Fuck yeah, bro. You unlock the door, eventually. Hey man, come on, don't be sassy. Looks like there's no use for this key now. You should throw it away. But what if I want to lock the door again? It's dark. The lights are acting up again. These freaking lights always making me act. Whoa, shit! Oh, okay, goddamn. All of a sudden, the light bulb explodes. Countless shards of red hot glass shred your face. You are totally blinded and spend the next few hours bleeding to death in agony. There must have been a power surge or something. But don't worry. Try again tomorrow. Are you freaking serious? Are you tickling my butthole right now? Like, what just happened? Whoops, you're dead. Hint, electricity is dangerous. You think? Like you freaking think? I know that. Okay, so I guess I should unplug that first. There are two plug sockets on the wall. The lamp on the table is plugged into the left socket. There's a loud buzz coming from the lamp, and the bulb is flickering a lot. The plug is falling to pieces. There's a slight gap where the fitting meets the wall. 
It looks like something is trapped inside, wedged awkwardly behind the plug. But you can't reach it. I'm gonna pull the plug. <gasps> I can't believe this. I died twice in a matter of 30 seconds to some electricity. I got my ass whooped to electricity. For a split second, you feel the searing heat of over 200 volts of electricity surging through your body. Luckily, before your head can really process the pain, your heart stops completely. You're dead in seconds. You don't even have time to reflect on your questionable decision-making capabilities. What part of you thought that that was a sensible idea? But don't worry, try again tomorrow. Okay, so I am not gonna touch the lamp. No, don't! All right, we are not gonna go to the left. Let me look at this old photograph of my ugly family. You think you remember some of the figures in this photo, but when you try and recall any details, you feel overwhelmed. The frame is stuck to the shelf with grime. You'll need something flat to pry it off. Nah, I'm good. It's not even that special. Okay, we turn on the lights. Why does my house look like this? Staircase? The whole thing is in ruins. It's hard to tell, but it seems like the stairs have been somehow torn to pieces. The darkness is thick here. You can't see the bottom. Looking down there for too long makes you feel sick. You don't remember how it happened. You don't even know what's going on in the first place. Regardless, the front door is down there. You'll have to find a way down if you want to go outside. If only there was some way of measuring the distance. Still, a jump from this height shouldn't hurt too much. Go downstairs? It's too risky. I don't feel like dying right now. I took three L's in a row. I can't take a fourth. Okay, so let me just try. Let me try getting the, the plug. Oh, wait. I forgot the plug killed me. Switch it off. There you go. Okay, so we switched it off. Fuck yeah. There's a small table with a lamp and a notepad. Something is written in the notepad, but it's too dark to read what it says. Okay, I'm good then. Uh, that's the light for the other side. Let's go inside the bathroom. Ooh, it's dirty as hell in here. Stinks too. The stench coming from the toilet is overpowering, but unfamiliar. Some kind of rot? The toilet bowl is a lot deeper than it should be. It just goes on and on. There's something trapped further down, but it's hard to see through all the dark, murky liquid. Reach inside. Let me dive right in. Let me just roll up my sleeve and dive right in. You reach in as far as you possibly can until the disgusting toilet fluid reaches past your shoulder. Your arm is just about long enough to grab hold of something. It feels like some sort of long plastic tube, but it's stuck tight. You don't know how much more of this you can take. It stinks so much you're starting to feel dizzy. Keep pulling anyway. What kind of Taco Bell shit did you take, my guy? Pull it hard. Pull it nice and hard. Come on, grab that thing. Grab it like you mean it. Obtain plunger. But you will never get that smell out of your head. You might want to take a shower or three or four or five. Why well, stop there? Something shattered the mirror. It's so cracked and filthy that you can't see your reflection. Although, I suppose that might not be such a bad thing. I mean, let's be honest. You're not good looking. Yeah, you are. You're beautiful. Being good looking is subjective. I think that you're extremely good looking, my bro. It's an old looking photograph. You don't remember when it's from or what it's of. Is that a face? It could be. I mean, normally you take pictures of a face, right? Holy shit. Holy flickering lights. It's an old looking photograph. You don't remember when it's from or what it's of. Is that a face? What about here? Something shattered the mirror. Okay. I thought maybe if I turned on the lights, I would get a different description. But there's something red over there. What is that? The bathtub is thick with damp grime. Looks like it hasn't been used for an embarrassing number of days. The plug's missing, but there's still a shallow pool of black liquid at the bottom. And for some reason, there's a screwdriver wedged inside the shower head. You're no plumber, but you get the feeling that it's not supposed to be there. Remove the screwdriver? No, 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 no. Um, it says pull it out or looks important. Okay, I know what to do. Um, let me go to my inventory. And then let's get the plunger equipped. And then now let's use it. Use the plunger on the bathtub? Yes. You stick the plunger over the plug and give it a few tugs. You feel something in the drain come loose. Didn't I get the screwdriver? Door handle? Oh, shit. Yo, we got the door handle, my guy. Okay, I thought maybe I can use the plunger on the screwdriver because I thought maybe if I just put my bare hand in, I would die. But let me actually just pull out the screwdriver. So we got a screwdriver and we got a door handle. What is that noise, though? Oh, shit. What is that? Looks like there are bugs coming out of the shower. Hell nah. Oh, the handle is missing. And the hole is too small to try and open it yourself. Looks like you're stuck here. Nah, I'm good. Watch this. Check me out. Inventory. Door handle. Ba bam Use the door handle on the bathroom. Yeah! I'm sorry. I'm getting way too high. You put the handle back in its place, but it's still loose. You'll need to screw it shut to open the door. Okay, gotcha. Watch this. Screwdriver. And screw that thing in. Yes. You successfully reattached the handle to the bathroom door. Now might be a good time to leave quickly and never return. Go! For those bugs eat my ass. Well, that was a close call. Let's not go back in there again. I agree. 
What's this? Hatch to the attic? No, before we do any of that, everybody, I actually want to go back in the bedroom. I want to save the game, and I actually want to check that drawer in the desk right there because it was jammed shut. Yes, let's use it on the desk drawer. That worked. You blindly plunge the screwdriver into the tiny gap and jiggle it around until the mechanism springs loose. Looks like there was a USB cable stuck to it. Okay, so what are we going to use this USB cable for? Hold on. Can this be attached to the stairs and then we can judge how far we're going to go down? Let me actually see. Use the USB cable on the plug? Might as well, right? That's the wrong type of socket. Okay, this game giving me attitude. This game giving me back sass for no reason. Okay, so let's actually go up into the attic because I don't think going downstairs is going to be as easy as I think. So let's see what we got over here. Oh, it actually just pulls instantly. It's looking a little bare up here. Uh-oh. Why is there blood on the ground? What the heck? What in the world? Looks like this place might look almost acceptable if you only had the right decorations. A comfortable looking armchair. There's a slight groove that looks like it would fit you perfectly. Take a seat. Have a break. Now's not the time. I don't need to be sitting on my ass cheeks. I was gaming for like nine hours. Looks like this place might look almost acceptable if you had the right decorations. Why do you keep telling me that? Like, fuck the decorations. A large wooden crate covered in dust and scratches is lying next to the barricaded door. You try to open it, but the lid is attached to the box with screws. Ooh. Okay, luckily for me, I got my handy dandy screwdriver, baby. I love games like this, by the way, like these trial and error type of games. So this game's right up my alley. You manage to remove the screws from the lid, but it's still securely fastened to the box. Really? Huh. Okay. Well, how about I use the plunger? Use the plunger on the crate? You remove the screws, but you're still struggling to get a grip on the splintered wood. If only you can get it wet. Hey, that's my specialty. The door has been haphazardly nailed shut with thick wooden planks. They've clearly been here a while. They're rotten with damp and decay. Whatever's behind this door, you must be trying pretty hard to forget about it. I don't want to forget about it. I don't want to use the plunger on the barricade. What kind of stupid shit is that? I want to use the screwdriver. These aren't screws. They're nails. Okay, I don't think that I can do anything up here because I don't have the necessary items. But what if I just sit here? Let me see what happens. Just put my ass cheeks on that white chair. I look pretty comfortable. Hmm. It's nice, I guess. But it's missing something. What's it missing? Tell me. You could do with some more decorations. Okay, I don't know why it keeps telling me that. But shit, there's another door over here. Door to the plant room. When the hell do people have plant rooms? There's a faint beam of light shining into the room. A healthy little sprout. There's a small plant sitting inside a clay pot. You don't recognize it. It's enjoying the light, but it looks a little dry. There's a metal watering can sitting on the table. It's splattered with rust and stinks like old damp. Pick it up. Yes, let's get wet. Obtain watering can. Can I use it? Does it actually have water in it? Use the watering can on the strange plant? Yes. Oh, it does have water. Unless I'm taking a piss on the plant. You gently pour a healthy dose of water onto the plant. The soil is a rich, dark brown. Hopefully, it will start to grow soon. You should check up on it later. Use the watering can on the wooden crate? Yeah, you bet you sweet ass I will. There ain't that much water in the can, come on. You douse the dry, crackled wood with water, giving the lid a smooth, damp sheen. I think now I can use the plunger. Use the plunger on the wooden crate. Yes! Damn, I'm good! And then it's just like a huge cat that just like eats my face off. You fasten the plunger to the lid and manage to painstakingly heave it open. It's completely empty inside. What a ridiculous waste of time. No way. Really? Wow, wait, an empty wooden crate looks just about big enough for a person about your size. Climb inside, perfect fit. Sure. I don't know why I can do it, but let's just do it. You never know what will happen. That is so random. It's more comfortable than you thought. There's even room to shut the box completely. Close the lid? Sure. Why not? What's the worst that can happen? Unless the box just magically screws itself, then I die. It's pitch black in here and there's barely any room to move at all. After a while, you start to feel different. This doesn't feel right. Head back out. Peace and quiet or time to go? Let's see what peace and quiet is. Okay, I suppose we could just wait here then. You never know, something might happen. Oh, what is that? Oh dear, the lid stuck. How on earth did that happen? Whatever the case, it doesn't seem to be budging and it's far too dark to know how to fix it. Looks like you're stuck here forever. 
for all of eternity? There ain't no way. Ain't no way. Let me out. Use the plunger on the wooden crate. Yes. It's pitch black in here. Without any light, those items won't be of much use. You can barely even move. It's getting difficult to breathe. Try and smash through. Yes. Smash. Hulk smash. Yo, smash it! Smash your pass! You know, that may have been the strongest feat of physical strength you've ever managed. It was also definitely your last. As you tear your way through the lid, more and more shards and splinters of dusty old wood pierce your flesh, lining the crate with your blood. It's a gruesome, painful, and slippery death. But don't worry, try again tomorrow. Fuck. So I'm actually gonna leave, and I wanna see what we can do with the watering can. The lights are acting up again. Okay. And I can hear some weird ass noise. How about I do this? Um, let's open the inventory. Let's equip the USB cable. Use the USB cable on the staircase? Yes. Yup, there you go. You firmly tie one end of the cable to the banister and drop the other end down the hole. You're not sure if it will hold your weight, but it certainly seems sturdy enough. Okay, let's try it. The cable leads downstairs. Climb down, descend. I mean, even if it doesn't really hold that well, at least I can kind of just shimmy down and then maybe I'll fall like a few feet. How tall is this freaking house? This is goddamn ridiculous. This is so ridiculous. Even the USB cable is like, this shit is ridiculous. I feel like I live in the castle or something. That was the longest freaking descent. Door to the living room. Okay, let's try it. Anybody in here? The television is on, but there's nowhere to sit. Oh, it's getting creepy down here. Television, the static makes you feel dizzy. There's a large knife on the table. The sharp end is stuck deep in the wood. Remove it. I like sharp things. <laughs> Obtain knife! What was that? Oh shit! The couch! Move! Move, kid! After a series of mechanical shutters, you hear a scurrying noise coming from upstairs. Who knows what it could have been? Your head hurts. You're starting to feel sleepy. Oh shit, I thought that couch was gonna fall on me. The armchair is suspended in the air by chains. You're not sure what the chains are hanging from. You can't see the ceiling, if there even is one. You give it a firm tug, but it doesn't budge. Okay, I think I need to get out of here. Because I'm just getting really, really weird vibes from this shit. Wait, what about this trophy? A large trophy looms overhead, suspended by chains, wrapped loosely around the base. Looks like you can unhook it with ease, if only you could reach. Okay, I don't want to reach it though. The shelves are bare, hanging uncomfortably from the sky with hooks and chains. Alright, let's get out of here. That place gives me the heebie-jeebies. But it looks like it's a hallway, there are drawings all over the walls. Like what kind? I can't tell, I guess. Fake door? It looks like a door. But it's just a drawing. Okay. Well, that's also a drawing. What about over here? Anything else? Hello? Yeah, it's a game that explores depression and isolation by trapping you inside of your own house. Okay, so that's the kitchen. This is the stairs to the basement. Good God. Oh, crap. The fuse box is missing a fuse. Okay. Ah! Oh my goodness! It's so dark down here, you can barely see your hand in front of your face. One wrong step was all it took. All of a sudden, white hot steam blasts through you with terrible force, melting and boiling your flesh away from your body. The boiler must be malfunctioning. Why are you down here again? You know that your front door is back upstairs, right? What a waste of time. But don't worry, try again tomorrow. Wait, the front door is upstairs? Oh yeah, we're in the basement. Don't clap for me. Don't do that. I am definitely not gonna proceed any further over there. I'm actually gonna go this way, but I can't. So this is very, very interesting. This is the door to the kitchen, which I didn't go into yet. I hear some weird noises. The microwave is still shut. The buttons don't move. In fact, the door isn't even real. This is basically just a big plastic box. The cupboard doors won't budge an inch. Something's barricading them shut from inside. It's boiling violently. Why would I even check that? There's a massive iron pot on the oven. It looks heavy. The pot is boiling violently. You can feel occasional tiny flecks of scalding hot water. You try and turn off the heat, but nothing seems to happen. Remove the lid? Let's just do it. Let's just do what happens? I knew that was gonna happen. I don't understand why this person isn't watching out for everything. This is like Home Alone, but I'm playing the role of the burglar. Your delicate fingers are no match for red hot metal. The heat makes you drop the heavy lid immediately, and the entire pot collapses straight onto you. The burns are so serious you can't even get yourself up from the ground. 
Your agonizing death takes hours and hours and hours. But don't worry. Try again tomorrow. And hours and hours and hours. So we are going to avoid the boiling hot water, everybody. I'm going to check this cupboard. The cupboard is mostly bare, but there is a lighter right at the back. Pick it up. Yes. So we obtained a lighter. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to equip the lighter. Can I use it right now? I can't. There's nothing in the fridge. It's not even turned on. There's a lingering scent of expired food. Oh, I bet that smells like ass. I bet that smells like ass ass. Use the plunger on the pot. Yes. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Yay! You firmly attach the plunger and remove the heavy lid. The pot is completely empty inside. It's not even wet, but there's a tiny gray button at the bottom. Push the button. Yeah. Please let me leave. What was that noise? Sounds like it came from under the sink. Interesting. You open the cupboard, but there's nothing inside. You can't even see the back of the cupboard. You don't know how deep it goes. In fact, it looks quite roomy in there. Climb inside. That's probably the only way that I can escape because the door was actually just a drawing. There's a familiar smell coming from the oven. The oven door is completely stuck. You can't get it open with just your bare hands. There's an unpleasant smell coming from inside. It's recognizable, but you can't quite put your finger on it. It seems to be working just fine though. Turn on the oven. I'm not hungry. I actually want to use the plunger. You try and use the plunger to get the oven door open, but it won't quite stick properly. Despite your best efforts, it just pops off. Okay, I guess I'm gonna turn it on, everybody. Let's get cooking. Let's see what happens. Please not an explosion. An explosion happened. Okay, so there's gas coming out of the oven, so I think we have to operate pretty fast. It's completely frozen over, so I think that I know what to do with that one. We get the lighter, and we use it on the fridge. So we can melt the ice. That sounds reasonable. How is that all oh, the gas? I know somebody was watching that just now and they're like, no, Jay, the gas, the gas. <laughs> okay, so this time we are going to use a knife and maybe we can chip away at the ice. Use the knife on the fridge? Yes. You try and slice your way through the ice, but it's far too thick to do any lasting damage. The thing is sharp, but it's pretty flimsy. Okay, never mind. There's nothing else in the cupboard. You're not exactly a gourmet, are you? No. You look inside, but there doesn't seem to be anything out of the ordinary. Well, apart from you, of course. Can you stop with the self-deprecating humor? The microwave has definitely seen better days, but it seems perfectly functional. Okay. What about the trash? The bin is empty. Looks like it needs a serious cleaning, though. So this whole room is the complete opposite of the other room because the other room had a fake-ass microwave. This one's real and functional, so that means the door's functional? It looks like a door, but it's just a drawing. Okay, I need to figure out what the hell I'm doing here then. Can I actually use the plunger on the fridge? There isn't any part of the frozen mass that's flat enough for you to get a grip. Okay, what can I use, everybody? What can I use? The screwdriver? Maybe, because it's sharp enough. Yes! There you go. I thought it was maybe the knife that could do that, but I guess the screwdriver just has, like, enough of a flat edge. You scrape and chisel away at the ice until eventually you manage to break most of it away. Obtain spatula. Okay, what can I do with a spatula, though? Hold on. Who can I spank with this spatula? Let me see. A large spatula made of stiff plastic. It's hard and surprisingly sharp. Okay. And I can't leave this door, huh? You spatula on the oven, I guess. I don't even know. That actually did something. With a bit of force, you managed to pry the stiff oven door open. There's a sudden, powerful stench of gas. Okay, I want you to turn off the gas, please. Yes, climb inside. Hopefully the gas doesn't kill me. You know, all this gas is making you feel very sleepy. You try to carry on, but you're feeling dizzy and sluggish. You probably shouldn't exert yourself too much. Have a quick rest. No, push on. You shake it off. Yeah, there's no way that you should rest if you're feeling woozy from gas. You can hear something moving around in the dark. Um, wait. Can I use the lighter to light my way? There's a very faint groaning coming from the taps. Turn them on. Uh, yeah, sure. You turn the taps, but nothing happens. The plumbing in this is really terrible. <laughs> Holy crap, what was that? The microwave is sealed shut. The buttons don't move. In fact, the door isn't even real. This is basically just a big plastic box. Should I actually equip my knife right now? What is happening? There are heavy chains blocking the fridge door. They're attached on either side by some sort of thick, translucent buildup. It looks like wax. I know what to do. We can melt wax with the lighter. But something killed me. I think a monster just popped from the ceiling and ate my ass. The darkness here feels strange, invasive, threatening. You can't see your hand in front of your face. You couldn't even begin to guess what horrors could be lurking all around you. 
But something, somewhere, decided to quickly take advantage of the situation. They rip you to shreds in a frenzy. You feel them laughing as they scrape your bones clean. But don't worry, try again tomorrow. I love that, you know? Just all this like, you completely got screwed, but try again tomorrow. Okay, so we need to be quick with this one. So let's go to inventory, do the lighter, and use the lighter on the fridge, yes. Because we need to melt that wax. Hurry, he's coming, it's coming. Yeah, 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 go, 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 go. With a bit of patience, you melt through the thick wax, holding the chains in place until it can't take the weight of the metal. They fall away, unblocking the door. Hurry! There's a long, dark corridor inside the fridge. It seems safe here. Wait, no turning back now. There you go. Okay, anything to get away from that monster. Because we can't get out through that door because it's fake. It looks like a hallway. There are drawings all over the walls. Oh. So that's not a real door no more. So I guess I just have to find the real door. And we just progress through that like a level. Door to the living room. Wait. Can I actually get that trophy with the spatula? Maybe, let's see. Use the spatula on trophy, yes. With a serious jump, you can just about poke the bottom of the trophy with the spatula. You're gonna need something even longer to get that thing down. Okay, do I have something even longer? Plunger? With the plunger, yes, no, okay. Okay, I think that with everything I got down here, I think it's time for me to go upstairs and let's figure out what else we can do. So let's ascend. And it says the lights are acting up again, I know that. But I can try to get this. Maybe I can get the picture. You need something to pry it off. But what about the spatula? Let's do this. Use the spatula on the photograph. Yes. Got it. Okay, usually when you hear a sound effect, I think it works. With a few firm scrapes, you manage to loosen the photo frame from the shelf. There's a sticky, dusty film still on the bottom. Obtain photograph of old friends. Okay, I think I need to put that in the attic because that counts as a decoration, right? So let's go in my bedroom. And there's a red flickering light. You can hear a noise, but it sounds muffled. Are you talking about that? Somebody's having a little fun in my bed. What is this shit? It looks like that lump in your mattress has gotten bigger. It's squirming around under the sheets. You should probably leave it alone. Touch it anyway. Poke it lightly, smack it hard, stroke it gently. Hey, what kind of situation are we in, my guy? Okay, let's stroke it gently. Let's see what happens. You saw the first <laughs> I was trying to read. I was just trying to read about the soft lump. Whatever that lump is, it's not very friendly. It tore your spine right out through your throat. It must have been asleep before you rudely interrupted. But don't worry. Try again tomorrow. Fuck this. I'm smacking this bitch. Let's see what happens. Come and get me then. You smack the heart. Okay, he got me. He got me. This time I'll just poke it lightly. Ever so lightly. You know, like as a... Okay, okay, okay! I'll show you what happens when you mess with me. I'll show you what happens when you mess with me. I'm using the knife on the strange lump. I'm stabbing that hoe. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do now that you're dead, huh? Nothing, because you ain't shit. That was messy. But it looks like that lump isn't a problem anymore. What if that was like the family dog just trying to sleep? That'd be so fucked. There's a knife sticking out from the lump in your bed. It doesn't seem to be in the best shape. Pull it out? Yes. Did we get a sword? Obtain ruined knife. Although there was a lot of resistance and all of this thick black sludge, it can't have done the blade any favors. You might want to check on your knife. Okay, so let's check on it. A dull corroded kitchen knife covered in thick dark slime. Seems useless, but looking closer, how do we use it? Can I wash it off? The wardrobe's mostly empty. Your clothes live in the hamper. The washing hamper is well over capacity, bulging slightly under its tremendous weight. Dirty clothes spill out everywhere from the top. The smell is not good, but that's your smell. That's your scent. Let me actually use the lighter and I'm gonna use it on the notepad because it said that we couldn't see what was written on it because it was too dark. With the light from the flame, you can just about make out what's written on the notepad, but it's nothing useful. It's just a phallic sketch. Your name is written underneath. A self portrait perhaps? Oh, and the number 57 is written in the corner, but you don't recognize the handwriting. Okay, everybody, let's remember you can still hear the scuttling of thousands of hungry insects on the other side of the door. Open it anyway? Absolutely not. Okay, let's go up here. And I kind of want to check on my plant. I want to see what's going on over here. Oh, it's dead! Fuck! The once happy little plant is now just a dead, rotted husk. You abandon it. Now it's gone forever. What is wrong with you? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really give a shit about that plan, all right? So stop bothering me about it. Let's go in the inventory and photograph with old homies. 
People say this place is unacceptable. Use the photograph of old friends on the seating area? Yes. Perfect. Now what? The seating area is starting to look a little better, but there's still a lot of space left. Okay. The seating area is starting to look a little better. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. So how am I gonna take out these planks? How am I gonna take out these planks? I think I am gonna use the spatula. Yes, the Benny spatula would snap before you managed to pry it out. Okay, how about I use the knife? Wait, this knife, the ruined knife. Why did you think this would be helpful? I mean, just look at it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to. <laughs> I thought I was doing a good thing, you know, killing that thing inside of my bed, but <laughs> is what I would say if my mom raised a hoe. Good thing she didn't. So I have no idea what to do about this knife. Let me just go in here. Let's just see what happens. It's just bugs. Just step on those bitches. Just do something and I'm dead. I guess the bugs were just like those freaking roaches from the mummy. Wait, there's a 19 on the knife. So that means it's like 1957 or 5719. I didn't even really see that, but it says, but looking closer. So this shit wanted me to look closelier. And I think that we can unplug this hole from the wall. But you know what? Let me see what I can do. Um, let's go to inventory. Let's try the spatula. Use a spatula on the plug socket. Got it. Fuck yeah, dude. You pry the plug socket away from the wall with one quick motion. It snaps off with a flash and a bang. It's a good thing you weren't touching it. A burning smell lingers in the air, although it still doesn't cover that weird hallway smell. There's a toothbrush nestled inside, wrapped in a cradle of stinking melted plastic, but it's completely clean. Reach for the toothbrush, yank it out. Obtain toothbrush. What was that? What the hell was that noise? What was that? Sounds like it came from the bathroom. Uh-oh. The scuttling of insects on the other side of the door seems quieter now, you think. Open the door. Can't hurt, or best not. I can't hurt. I mean, like I said, just step on those bitches. Holy crap. The mirrors are broken. There's glass for that ass everywhere. Um, can I use the sink? Unlike the rest of the house, the sink seems to be in perfect working order. There isn't a scratch on it. You stare into the mirror and your gaunt, sickly face stares back. You barely recognize yourself these days. There are deep, dark creases all over your face. Sweat and dirt cling to every crack. It's a shameful sight, but it can't be much worse than what's underneath. Well, you may as well try, right? Wash your face, scrub a dub dub. Uh oh. Clean or not, you're not great to look at. At least when it was covered in dirt, you had an excuse. Maybe you shouldn't have bothered, but at least you washed your face. Congratulations, I guess. Wasn't that one of the goals? To wash my face? And then I think another one was to brush my stinky ass breath and then comb my hair. So let me actually go in my inventory and let's do the toothbrush and use it on the sink. Your mouth is dry and fuzzy. Days of grime. Cover your teeth and tongue. You should really sort it out. Brush your teeth? Yes. Without toothpaste, I guess. We're just gonna use air. Air in a dream. You do the best you can. Your mouth feels cleaner, but on closer inspection, the rot and decay are so severe, it would take a lot more work to fix that mouth of yours. Better than nothing, I guess. Congratulations. One more thing that I have to do, I think. Let me use the knife. Use the ruined knife on the sink. Let's wash the grime off. The knife is completely ruined. The blade is far too dull and warped to be of any use. Why did you think this would be helpful? I mean, just look at it. Yeah, it says 19. Okay, there's gotta be something that I can get from this bathroom. Like that sink is super useful, but I need to figure out what I can use it on. Hold on, let me see something. Let me go inventory again, and let's use the watering can on the sink. There's already water in the can, somehow. There are two small screws holding the plug together. They're a little awkward, but you could probably get them out with your screwdriver. Are you sure you want to dismantle one of the only appliances in the house that actually works? Yes, because I don't need it. I'm just wasting away like nine hours of gaming. For no reason, I'm not even beating my high score. You take out the screws and the plug falls apart completely. How these tiny useless bits of metal were keeping it together, you'll never know. Inside, there was a small fuse. It seems to be working just fine. Obtain the fuse. Okay, so we got the fuse that's for the basement. So let's go back down there, plug that thing in, and let's see what other items we can get because I need to decorate the, the top of the attic. I think that's how I get out of here eventually. Okay, so let's plug this bad boy in. There you go. The basement seems different. Where's the boiler? A 
fuse box made of cold heavy metal. We know about the fuse box. Ain't nobody give a damn about the fuse box. Wait, lights out or leave it in? No, leave it in. And then wait for the water to stop. And let's keep it going. Hold on, wait. Can we shut off the water? There's a bright red valve rattling loudly with the intense water pressure of the pipe. Tighten it? Yes. I think that's going to stop the pressure of the water. Oh, there's a big hole right there. And there's another fuse box that's missing a fuse. So I think what I have to do... I have to take this out. Yeah, I want to remove it. Uh, lights out. Obtain fuse. Okay, and now we have to plug it in this one. Because we only have one fuse. So we got to keep borrowing fuses from each other. So let's plug this one in. Here we go. Okay, and then let's tighten these. Get that going. Get this going. And then get that going, I think. What the hell is this shit? Boiler, it looks volatile. The unstable boiler is convulsing violently. The pipes screech and rattle as they struggle to pump hot water through the house. Turn off the boiler? Oh shit. Should I shut it down? Shut it down. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please. Please. It took me forever to come back here. <gasps> oh, wait. What the heck? For a brief moment, you felt a powerful blast of steam wash over you. But it's a lot less painful than you would have expected. When you open your eyes again, the boiler has been replaced by another staircase. This definitely doesn't seem like the way out. How deep does your basement go? Your front door is upstairs. This seems like a bad idea. Oh shit, wait, there's something right there. What is that? I don't think I should go there. Hold on. Let's tighten it. How do I actually do the other pipe? There's something right there. What the heck? Hold on. Let me see. Let's um, loosen this. Fuck, that doesn't work. Maybe I have to go through that door. Hold on. Because I don't know how to get rid of that steam. Unless... No. Okay, there's something there that I need. But maybe I can just go here. What is this? The room is full of smoke. It's getting hard to breathe. Plaque? It's extremely filthy? There's a metal plaque on the wall, but you can't read what it says. It's completely covered in filth and grime. What if I do this? Oh, wait. The toothbrush. The toothbrush. Use the toothbrush on the plaque. The room is filling up with smoke fast. It's too thick to see anything. You're starting to feel lightheaded. Okay. What is this? Furnace. There are thick plumes of black smoke billowing out of the raging furnace. The smell makes your head spin. Something must be trapped inside the pipes, but you couldn't possibly reach it through the raging fire. There must be some way to dislodge it without burning yourself to a crisp. Tempting though that may sound. Okay. How about we use the plunger? Even if you could reach inside there to investigate the source of the smoke, that plunger would be incinerated in seconds. Okay. How about the knife? <gasps> the knife is completely ruined. Ah, uh, I got consumed by the smoke. Fuck. There's an imposing padlock over the metal door. It won't budge an inch. It feels like a combination lock, but it's impossible to make out the numbers through all this smoke. You're starting to feel dizzy. Shit. Okay, I think it's the code that we got on the knife and the notepad. But I need to figure out what the hell I'm going to put in here. Spatula? It may be heat proof, but it's not that heat proof. Use the lighter on the furnace? Yes. You might want to get out the way. Oh! Oh my god. Oh! I'm alive! Fuck yeah! Whatever was blocking the pipes, it seems to have been dislodged by the blast. The smoke is gone and the fire is stronger than ever. Looks like you won't be getting that lighter back. It was absolutely destroyed in the blast. Let's hope you didn't need it for anything else. It's time to turn back. You've caused enough damage already. Do you even want to go outside? Yeah, I actually want to enter the padlock combination. There's an imposing padlock over the metal door. It won't budge an inch. Looks like a combination lock. Can you put a number? Yes. Wait, three digits? The fuck? What is this? I'm so confused. Okay, that wasn't it. What in the fuck? Okay. Well, that sucks. What about this? Can we rush the thing here? Because I want to see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Show me what's on that plaque. Show me right now. After a lot of seriously tough scrubbing, you managed to clear away most of the rusty brown grime. Unfortunately, those clean, sturdy bristles are now black, sticky, and scuffed. 
There's no chance of using this brush again. It's totally ruined. I don't think you've thought this through. There's a metal plaque on the wall. You've scrubbed it as clean as possible, but most of the text is still totally illegible. All you can make out is a faded number 618. Okay, so I guess the code was right there on the plaque. So the toothbrush wasn't for naught. So I'm going to enter the code. Hopefully that's it. Because if that isn't it, then I completely ruined the toothbrush. 618. Yeah, boy! You successfully opened the padlock, but the door still won't move. Underneath the bolt, you found a tiny keyhole, barely visible in dim light. Isn't this all getting a little out of hand? You really should turn back. Not on my watch. Let me use this small key. It worked? Did it? Are you sure about this? Do it. Do it right now. Wait, why am I going in this room, though? You turn the flimsy key in the keyhole, and it snaps in half. The metal now firmly wedged inside the lock. You feel the weight of the door shift. It's unlocked, but you've completely ruined the key. Can you stop this now? You're getting deeper and deeper into trouble. Let's just see. Let's just see what happens. Where are you going? I don't know. Why is my heart beating so fast in this game? What does that mean? There's a bunch of X's over here. This isn't the way out. I just want to see. I'm curious. Can a person see? Turn around. This game keeps telling me what to do, but I just want to know. I know this could be a bad idea because we're going in this long red hallway and it's telling me don't, please stop, turn around, you're not going to be about this life. The way out, this isn't right. It's not. It looks like the way out, but it just leads further down. The door is locked. Don't go through that door. Okay. I guess I can't. Can I? What about the knife? Nope. Okay. I don't know how to open it anyway. Screwdriver? Nope. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't even have the necessary items, I think. Wait, the water's gone. How did the water go away? What the heck? There's some kind of thick sealed jar resting on top of the wooden stool. Sticky black substance drips slowly from the lid. It smells unpleasantly sweet. You have no idea what could be inside it. Take it with you? Yes. You obtained a strange jar. Where the hell did the water go? I guess it's all gone. Okay, let's get out of here, everybody. Because there's nothing for your boy. There's nothing left for your boy over here. The television is on, but there's nowhere to sit. Why is sit in yellow letters? The television is hanging from thick chains, but seems to be working just fine. The static drone of the screen is giving you a headache. You feel like you're being watched. Change the channel. Let's see what's on. Let's go to, um, wait. Can we go to channel 19? What did that do? Oh! Okay, so that was the thing on the knife. But what about 57? Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Oh, look. It's your front door key. It must have fallen from the sky, apparently. Let's pick it up. Obtain front door key. Okay, wait, wait, wait. What if I change the channel to number 57? Let's see if I get something cool. 57. That's so cool. I like that a lot. What did I get? What is that? Is that like a live feed of one of the fake doors? What did that do? Hold up. No, I'm too busy. I'm too busy for all that shit. That was weird. Do I have something so I can get the trophy? No, I don't. I mean, I had the spatula. I spanked it a couple times, but nothing happened. Watch. I'm gonna try it again. Spank it. Nope. I need something else to bring it down. But we got this key. We got a front door key. Okay, let me see if I can actually do it on the front door. Because these are fake-ass doors. See? Just a drawing. This is my front door. But there's no way out of here. Can I use it? You try and force the key into the lock, but it's just a drawing. Whatever that is covering the walls, you'll need to get past it to open the door. Honestly, it seems like an awful lot of effort. Maybe you should just stay here. Nah, I'm good. I told you I was going to go outside and get some fresh air, and your boy is going to be the one to do it. So there's nothing that's going to stop me. I don't even care. These fake ass doors faker than my dad's tits. I am going to get through here. Let's see. Fake fridge. Looks like a fridge, but it's just a drawing. Okay, where the hell do I go, everybody? Let me see this strange jar. Can I put it over here? We can. Oh shit, no we can't. What just happened? What was inside of that strange jar? It was bees? Oh dear. So that's what was in the jar the whole time. Bees. It's a jar of angry bees. 
You're a red, lumpy mess in minutes. The pain is so bad, it's almost a relief when you finally suffocate on your own swollen throat. Wow. You should really keep that thing closed. What kind of moron are you? I'm a big moron. A huge moron. A big, girthy moron. Let's see what's on channel one. Oh, no. Oh, this is not good. No, no, no. Okay, I was just trying everything. And the spatula just took away the thin chalk door. Fuck yeah. Okay, this door leads to somewhere. Thank goodness. <gasps> Whoa. Something smells delicious. The bin is empty. Looks like it needs a serious cleaning though. You can just about see a crumpled piece of paper through the oven door. Pull it out? Yes. Please don't tell me there's gas. Obtain scrawled note. Okay. It says one. A scrap of paper with a number lazily scrawled in black ink. Okay. There's something squirming inside. Through the dim screen, there appears to be some kind of blue squirming mass. You couldn't guess what it is, but it smells fantastic. The door is locked tight, but the power is on and the button seems to be working fine. Turn on the microwave? Uh, no. Let's see if we can actually open it, because I think whatever's in there, we could probably kill it. On accident? Nope. You know what? Fine. I'm gonna turn it on. How long will you cook for? What? One minute? Wait, what about the code? 1957? Please tell me. It didn't seem to do anything. What? Okay. Let's get cooking. What about one minute? It didn't do anything. Okay? What the hell am I supposed to do? It's a scrap of paper with the number lazily written on there. And I just want to let you all know that the only reason why I'm even attempting to do this, I don't even know if it's going to work, but the only reason why I'm doing it is because I feel like I got rid of the items that I wasn't supposed to get rid of. So let's use the front door key on the way out. This seems drastic. Are you really sure about this? Don't back out now. But what are you even doing here? What point are you trying to prove? What happened to going outside? What about the fresh air? It doesn't matter anymore. Well, it does matter, but I just wanted to see. I'm scared. It's the only way out. What are we going to do down here? Yeah, this does seem kind of drastic. It's just going to tell me that I'm dead, right? Tomorrow's another day. The end. That's it. That's the game. Hope it wasn't too disappointing. Let's see how you did, shall we? It took you one hour and 55 minutes to finish the game. You died a total of 25 times. You succumbed to 12 out of 20 possible threats. You found 17 out of 26 items. It took you far too long to figure out how doors work. You wasted nine hours playing video games and you didn't even beat your high score. Your curiosity got you killed by a swarm of bees. You put up one decorations, but it still looks pretty shabby in here. You failed to keep a single plan alive. You're either incompetent or just plain twisted. You ended things one way or another. You were lazy. It took you a long time to get this far. You can't even have been trying very hard. You were reckless. You really don't think things through, do you? It's a wonder you made it this far at all. You were boring. You didn't really experiment much and you kept all your thinking firmly inside the box. You must not be much fun. Basically, you're not a good person and everything you've done is pointless and it's all your fault. Don't say you weren't warned. Thanks for playing. You know what? I am going to prove you wrong because I am going to get the best ending in this game. And the only reason why I even did that ending is because I wanted to save that plant. But look at this plant. Look how big this bitch is. The strange plant has grown to an incredible size. Thick, leathery vines are bursting from the pot. It's enjoying the light, but looks a little dry. Ooh. Okay, so now it's time to water you. You gently pour a healthy dose of water onto the plant. The soil is a rich, dark brown. This thing is getting pretty out of control. Surely it can't get much bigger than this. You should check up on it later. Yeah, look how big and girthy that bitch is. Use the front door key on the staircase. This is a very important key. You should really keep a hold of it. Aren't there any other keys you can get rid of? Oh, look, it's your key. Looks like it made its way downstairs safely. Although it seems different somehow, you're probably just imagining things. Take the key, obtain small key. What's different about it? A plain metal key that you found under your bed, but it's different somehow. How is it different? How is it different? It's the same, but different. It looks exactly the same. This shit doesn't even make any sense. Wait, it seems different somehow. Okay, so the way I got out of my room was this. Use the small key on the bedroom door. 
You turn the key in the unlocked door and somehow it keeps turning. After a few more turns, there is a loud click. You unlock the unlocked door. The corridor seems to stretch on forever. How the hell would you even... Bedroom? The corridor seems to stretch on forever, you say. Forever and ever, for never, ever, for never, ever? Yep, it's stretching on forever. Some heavy chains trail down from the dark sky. You're not sure how far up they go. You give them a hard tug. They seem sturdy. Climb the chains. Up we go. Okay, I'm randomly just gonna keep going on into just random parts of the house. So if I see any more chains that I can go up on, then you know your boy's climbing that shit. Looks like someone left a note on the floor. Pick it up. Obtain scribbled notes. The note says 34. Oh, whoops. Okay. So we got one and we got 34. So it's gotta be a minute and 34 on the microwave. Hold on, wait. Wait, give me a second. What are you... Okay, wait. Hey, I wasn't done yet. I'm still talking here. Who knows how long you spend wandering the corridor? Hours? Days? Weeks? I mean, not weeks because you would die after three days of no water. This isn't even a room anymore. It's just a roomy coffin. Your death is slow. And worst of all, boring. But don't worry. Try again tomorrow. What's this? Looks like there's a note in your pocket. You don't remember how it got there. Your head is pounding. Can we just leave? Oh shit, I can't leave! Please, 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 please. Yes! Mmm, the smell is getting stronger. The substance behind the glass is pulsing and writhing violently in the heat. Your mouth won't stop watering. Okay, calm down, dude. The substance behind the glass is pounding. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, it wasn't pounding. Was it pounding? Somebody's pounding! Somebody's getting pounded! It would be pretty irresponsible to leave your food unattended in the middle of cooking. Besides, you can't quite pull yourself away from that delicious scent. Oh yeah, I forgot. That's so damn delicious. I can't wait to put it in my throat. Oh, there you go. We really had to wait a minute and 34 seconds. That's insane. Sounds like you're finished cooking. That was the longest one minute and 34 seconds of your life. Yeah, that one minute 34 seconds felt like a minute and 35 seconds. The smell coming from the microwave is exquisite. Unlike anything you've ever experienced, you can't stop salivating. The lump has stopped moving, mostly. Consume the mass. Bon appetit. Sounds like I've been into an apple. That is not exquisite. It's all right at best, it's kind of mid. Eh, you've had better. But at least you ate something. Whatever something means, congratulations. You already devoured the contents of the microwave like a fat, greedy pig. And now you want seconds? Control yourself. Okay, my bad. Um, I guess we ate. And we did everything we need to do. But I need to go upstairs because we have to check on Big Gertha. That's the most important thing. What is that? There's something on the floor. Oh, somebody left the hairbrush on the floor. It's not yours. Or at least you don't recognize it. Pick it up. Yoink. <laughs> Obtain hairbrush. Yeah, we just yoinked that. It's not- it's mine now, bitches! Okay, let me check on the plant. If the plant is dead, I might have to kill somebody. I MIGHT HAVE TO CHOKE A BITCH! I don't know, the plant is dead. The plant is freaking dead, how? Oh, that pisses me off. The plant was so freaking big, and it wasn't my fault that it took me forever to figure out this whole situation. Or was it? I guess it was my fault. That is so lame. Okay, yeah, sometimes it takes me way longer than you all think to figure these things out. Because, I mean, it's just all trial and error. But yeah, um, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Uh, hairbrush. And then look in the mirror. Use the hairbrush on the sink. You catch sight of your reflection in the mirror. It's not a pretty sight. Your dense mess of hair is getting out of control. You can try and fix it, but you doubt it will do much good. Brush your hair? Why not? Yeah, why not? Just do all the things that'll make it work, you know? That's some thick-ass hair. Those kind of sound effects? Sounds like you were pulling a rug. Well, it's certainly a change. You look tidier now, at the very least. It's not a huge improvement, but I guess it's better than nothing. Congratulations, you brushed your hair. Shame about that face, though. Let me see that face. Well, now, would you look at that? Haven't you done well? You're clean, clothed, and fed. Ready to get some lovely fresh air. There's nothing stopping you now. No more excuses. It's time to head outside. Yay! All right, at least we look cool. We look like, you know, we washed our face, we brushed our hair, our breath doesn't smell like we've been eating ass all night. This is the front door, you can't remember. It's just a drawing, there's no way out. There's a thick crust of dark veins running down the wall. What is this stuff? 
Your head hurts. Well, can I use the key anyway? You try to force it into the lock, but it's just a drawing. Whatever this is covering the walls, you'll need to get past it to open the door. Hold on. Wait. What about the spatula? Please? Aww. Although it's already late, you've been up and about for a while now, and what a stressful day. It's a pretty flimsy spatula, come to think of it. You probably shouldn't bother. Give it a shot. Fine. But you're wasting your time. I don't care. I want to do it. I look good, and I deserve some fresh air. The freshest. This side of the Mississippi. I feel like this spatula is OP. They need to nerf this shit. After a lot of work, you finally manage to scrape away the last of the strange wall material. Underneath is your front door. Looking at it makes your head hurt. After all that effort, you're quite exhausted. Maybe you should take a rest. Watch some television? Have a nice sit down? You can always head outside later. Nah, I'm good. I kinda wanna go outside and touch some grass. Your heart is racing. You feel dizzy. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. You're trying to remember why you ever wanted to leave and frankly, you can't think of a reason. You should stay inside. You slide the key into the lock and turn it with a click. Your head hurts. The door is unlocked. You don't want to go outside. You want to stay here. Just go. Well, the door is unlocked. Looks like it's time for some lovely fresh air. You know, it certainly is cozy in here. Why would you ever want to go outside anyway? Really? You still want to go outside? I need to get out. Look, you don't know what you're thinking. Clearly, you're confused. It has been an awfully difficult day. You need rest. You need to lie down. Don't go outside. Maybe try again tomorrow, when you're feeling better. Let me out! Wait, please. Just think about this. You can't leave. You're not ready to leave. You have nothing. You are nothing. There's nothing for you out there. This is your home. It's where you belong. Don't go outside. It's time to leave, buddy. Stop! You know what? You've done so well. You've really made an effort. Had some food, put on some clothes, clean yourself up. Today was a good day. You should be proud. You deserve something special. You deserve a good ending. Don't go outside. Head back upstairs and go back to bed. That's where the secret ending is. The real ending. The happy ending. Let me out! Right now! Was that a dream? No way. Oh dear. That didn't go very well, did it? At least you tried. Not that it's worth anything. You can't say I didn't warn you. No, there's no way. There's no way that was real. I know he went outside! Maybe some things just aren't that simple. But don't worry. Try again tomorrow. Wait, did I really die? What? Nothing happened? No, 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 something needs to happen right now. Well, that's it. That's the game. Hope it wasn't too disappointing. Let's see how you did, shall we? It took you 40 minutes to finish the game. You died a total of three times. You succumbed to three out of 20 possible threats. You found 18 out of 26 items. You put up one decorations, but it still looks pretty shabby in there. You failed to keep a single plant alive. That's not my fault. I was stuck in that endless ass room. Aw, oh, come on, bro. You unlocked the secret ending, but chose not to accept it. Well done for being so stubborn. I chose not to accept it? You were impatient. You raced through the game at quite a speed. That's because I knew everything that the game had to offer. I was just trying to get back from the point that I was last at. Wait a minute, everybody. You know what I just thought of? Maybe I can change the channel to number 34 and I can get something new. Because that could be for the microwave, but it also could be from the, oh. So I looked up a guide about what to do next and I got a little hint and it's actually in this wooden crate. I'm actually supposed to use the lighter in the wooden crate because before, remember I couldn't see and I just died because I basically buried myself in this coffin. So what I need to do is go inside the crate, use the lighter, and then I can proceed to get to a new part that I have never been to. There you go. How was I supposed to know that? That's insane, right? The box is bigger than you thought. You can't see the end. This reminds me of being a kid and then going under your blanket in the bed and then just somehow it just is bigger than you thought it would be. And it's like way more spacious than you thought. It's kind of like when you make those um, blanket tents when you're a kid. I miss those days. I miss the imagination that we all had. Now that we know the reality of things, we're just like, man, the world is a fucked up place, huh? There's uh, something on the ground. There's a small box on the ground. It's wrapped up with a shiny bow. A lot of effort must have gone into it. 
It couldn't possibly be yours. I mean, nobody would bother working this hard to make someone like you feel special, right? Pick it up? Yes. <laughs> the other option was it's not for me. Obtain gift from a loved one. What is that? What the heck? Uh-oh. Wait. Oh, shit. The box is closing in on itself. The box is getting smaller. You should get out. Holy shit. I thought it was only like five feet tall. Oh, shit. That thing is banging even louder. Some bang bros. Yo! Fuck! What? What are you looking at? Well, you're still alive. Not that you tried very hard. You really don't move very fast, do you? It was the end of the coffin, my dude. Shame you're still trapped in this box. Well, box, coffin, tomato, tomato. The sides of the box are sturdy as ever. What am I supposed to do? The sides of the box are sturdy as ever. I know. Hold on. What the? There was a secret door? Oh, look, you're back in the house. It was probably nicer in the box. Now everything looks different. There's a crowbar lying against the wall. Wow. This really would have been helpful in getting that box open. Oh, well. Take it with you? Yes, better late than never. But never late is better. Obtain crowbar. Yes, the plant got big! That's a big bitch! The strange plant has grown totally out of control. It barely fits inside the room, let alone the tiny little pot. Every now and again, you swear you can see it move. An enormous, colorful flower hangs from its vines. Remove it? Yes. Obtain freshly picked flower. Okay, let me check it out. The large, vibrant flower of a mysterious plant. You grew it with your own hands. Yes, I did. It looks lovely. I mean, it's ugly as shit, but it's my own. So I have to love it, you know? I have to love it like a child. But anyway, we have the crowbar. So what we are gonna do is we are finally going to see what's behind this door right over here. Yes, use the crowbar on the barricade. I've been wanting to see what's behind here for a long, 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 long time, but my dumbass could not figure it out. You eventually managed to pry the last of the soggy wood away from the doorframe. Most of it was so brittle that it fell to pieces in your hands. You're trying awfully hard to get into this room, but there must have been a reason it was locked up in the first place, right? I guess, but it says it's a total mess in here. You feel like you're being watched. I bet you I am. I bet you I am being watched. There are dozens of old boxes in a heavy pile blocking your way. You'll have to clean them up if you want to get past. Sounds too much like hard work, really. Clear the boxes? Oh, what? No thanks. No way. Fine. <laughs> what a drag. That's exactly my responses when I see a mess in the house. I'm just like, oh, God, what? Please, no. Fuck me. This really is a lot of work. You keep folding up boxes, but you swear they just keep coming back. At this rate, you'll be here forever. Keep trying. Stick with it. Try something else. Stick with it. Whatever. Yeah, just stick with it. I mean, if you just focus on one at a time, eventually there's going to be no more left. That's usually what I do when I get overwhelmed with so many things to do. I just focus on one thing, then another, then another. I don't focus on the whole. You finally managed to fold up the last of the boxes, tidying them away to the side of the room. You're already feeling tired. That's a little tip. If you guys feel overwhelmed with so many things to do, just shut out everything else except one thing, take care of that thing, and then when you're ready to take care of the next thing, take care of that thing, eventually you'll get everything done. I mean, it's not the fastest way to do things, but it uh, at least help you if you feel overwhelmed or if you have anxiety like I do. So, you know, just a little tip, something that helps me out. An easel and canvas with an unfinished painting. You're not sure what it's supposed to be, but it has potential. Maybe you should finish it. Do some painting? Let's get creative. Oh, crap. Why are people watching me? I hate being watched. I hate being chased and I hate being watched. And I hate being waited on. I died. For no reason. From painting? I died from freaking painting? You're not sure what's hiding beyond these walls, but you know they're watching you, judging you. The moment you're distracted, they take advantage and descend upon you in a violent rage. You wish you had a better idea of who they were, what they wanted, or even what they did to you. Clearly, you aren't paying much attention. You should really stay focused. But don't worry, try again tomorrow. I was just trying to get my Bob Ross on. Damn, can a guy get his Bob Ross on? I guess I'm not gonna finish my painting. A cheap, rickety old chair. Looks like an antique, though not a very impressive one. But that cushioned seat looks quite comfortable, and you're feeling tired after moving all those boxes. Have a quick rest? Just five minutes. 
Oh no, I'm being watched again. I thought maybe I could take that chair, use it to climb up on the thing inside of the television room and grab that trophy real quick. All right, let's see what else is over here. I got too many eyes watching me. A large toy chest from your childhood. Looking at it for too long makes you feel upset. Most of the stuff inside is broken, but you did find your old Funtendo gameplay lying at the bottom. Play a few games? No, this stuff is for kids! I mean, I'm playing a game right now, so what does that make me? It makes me awesome, that's what it makes me. Up on the shelf, there's an old childhood toy. It might even be worth something by now if it weren't completely broken. At least it still looks good, and it isn't doing anything up there in the dark. Take it with you? Yes, still works fine. I know exactly where to put it. I'm gonna put it on the decoration thing. An enormous stack of important looking papers and boxes of documents blocks your path. You need to organize them, but there's nowhere to put all this stuff. There must be some way to make space in here. Oh, now it's saying if I could do some filing. Absolutely not. This is ridiculous. I'm no accountant. Ugh. Fine, sure, I guess. Where do you even start? This is gonna take a long time. Like I said, focus on one at a time, and eventually you'll be done. I mean, it might take you like three days, but shit, at least you get it done. Oh, look. While sorting through your papers, you stumble across some of your old school books. Give them a read. Fuck that! Stay focused! Is this ever gonna end? No. Short answer, no. Long answer, fuck no! Well, you know what? You're about to finish it. See, look, done. Uh-oh. You find a bunch of unopened letters that you never noticed before. They look important. Read them. Stop! Stay focused! And then it's like letters from, like, the police. Or like the FBI. If you don't show up to the police station on this date, we are going to arrest you and assume that you're guilty. You carefully organize all your old papers and pack them neatly away onto the shelves. How boring. Yeah, how boring. But what's behind these beef curtains? A huge set of heavy fabric curtains are draped above a dusty old windowsill. They're completely blocking all light. There must be a window behind there. Are you really ready to take a look outside? It's time for the light! Show me! Give me that light. Oh, what? I want some vitamin D. Oh, there's no window behind the curtains. But there's a large painting on the wall. It reminds you of something painful from long ago. Take the painting? Yes. Let's do it. Obtain painting of outside. It's a painting of outside? Oh, shit. Oh, that's not good. I don't like people watching me. Stop looking at me. I'm self-conscious. What the fuck? I have a painting of outside, so where can I put that up? Can I hang that up over here? The seating area is starting to look a little bit better, but there's still a lot of space left. Okay. Can I put this there? I can. Okay, that's cool. The seating area is starting to look a little bit better, but there's still a lot of space left. Okay, so let me put something else here. Let me put my little toy. Yay! Okay, so I just need to reorganize this space. The seating area is starting to look better. Okay. How about we do Forgotten Souvenirs? There you go. Okay, I think this is how we get the outside ending. It helps us remember, probably. How about we do the painting next? Yes! That was one, too. I mean, that one was kind of obvious. So let's see what else we got. Um, what about the rubbish? Come on, let me do the rubbish. Ah, man, I wanted to do something with the rubbish. They were there with me since the beginning. How about the freshly picked flower? Yes! Okay, so we actually needed that. The seating area is almost fully decorated, but it's still missing something. The trophy. It's missing the trophy. Okay, if I can get that trophy with the crowbar, then I am going to be the happiest man ever. Holy shit! The once healthy plant is now nothing but a tangled mass of withered dry vines. Fuck. You lived a long life. Please tell me this is it. I've been recording for three and a half hours, everybody. No joke. Three and a half hours. Please be it. That was it. That whew, told me everything I needed to know. All right, so let's put this trophy of Smitty Warburton Man Jenkson up on the top because he was number one. And is it done? The seating area is now fully decorated. It almost feels cozy. Congratulations. Yes, congratulations. Let me sit down. Let me put my booty cheeks on that white seat. Yeah, buddy. That looks good. You know what? It does feel cozy in here. It was a lot of hard work but you made things a little bit better. You didn't get any fresh air, but maybe that's fine. At least for today, it's time for a rest. A job well done. I need air. I want air. Give me air. You're never happy, are you? 
I don't think so. I actually kind of want to save the game and then I want to take a quick rest. All right, so I'm going to take a rest because I want to see what this ending is. Plus, we have to go back outside the front door for another ending, but don't choose I need air. We're just going to take a rest with that one too. But this one says, it may not be much, but it's something. The end. Really? It may not be much, but it's something. Don't tell me every ending is going to be so sad like this. Because I can't take it if every ending is going to be sad like this. Well, that's it. That's the game. Hope it wasn't too disappointing. Let's see how you did, shall we? Took you 43 minutes to finish the game. You died six times. He succumbed to four out of 20 possible threats. He found 24 out of 26 items. So there was two more things that I didn't find. Wait, no, that's not true. Because there was a couple things in the basement that I could have gotten. And then I could have gotten all 26. But I decided I do not want to go in the basement. You completely decorated your house. Don't you have anything better to do? You didn't make it outside, but you did make the best of a bad situation. Some people might call that an achievement. Some people might have higher standards. You were impatient. You raced through the game at quite a speed. Who knows what you must have missed? You were reckless. You really don't think things through, do you? It's a wonder you made it this far at all. You were boring. Basically, you're not a good person. And everything you've done is pointless. But at least it's cozy in here. Congratulations. Thanks for playing. Okay, I don't like that ending. We're gonna try the ending where I go outside the door one more time, but I don't get the fresh air. And let's see if that one's the best ending. All right, here we go. It says, you know what? You've done so well. You've really made an effort. Had some food, put on some clothes, clean yourself up. Today was a good day. You should be proud. You deserve something special. You deserve a good ending. Don't go outside. Head back upstairs and go to bed. That's where the secret ending is. The real ending. The happy ending. How exciting. Okay. So all I have to do is go upstairs and go to bed. This game said it's the secret ending. So if this game lies to me, I'm throwing this game out the window, walking outside my house and whooping this game's ass. Oh, look, it's different. Ah, oh, your bedroom, you feel safe here. Wait, there's no computer, no mess, no bad breath, nothing, just a long ass bedroom hallway. What the hell? Oh, my bed. It's lit up on some whole type shit. Your bed. It's never looked so soft. So warm. You've earned a rest. Go to sleep? Let's end this. Why did it say let's end this? I mean, usually when you go to sleep, it's a good thing because you feel all nice and warm and fuzzy. Please tell me this is a real good ending. Please. I'm like crossing my fingers, crossing my ass cheeks. Well, I guess I'm outside. I mean, if this is what you want to call being outside and getting fresh air. What if there's like a hotel with this kind of experience? Congratulations. You did it. You've won. You finally got some fresh air. Ah, how peaceful. No fear, no stress, no pain. You're free. Well done. You've earned this rest. Don't think about tomorrow. Just enjoy the moment. Really? This was the real good ending. They said this was the real ending. So I'm gonna believe what this person is telling me. And if the feedback is bad, then I know that the person typing the stuff, the narrator guy, is full of shit. Well, that's it. That's the game. Hope it wasn't too disappointing. Let's see how you did, shall we? It took you 51 minutes to finish the game. We died six times, four out of 20 possible threats. You've completely decorated your house. Don't you have anything better to do? Well done on finding the secret ending. Most people wouldn't have bothered. I guess most people have nothing better to do. You were impatient. How am I still impatient? Am I boring? I was reckless, but I wasn't boring though. So that, oh, I was boring. Okay, so I was still boring. Through it all, I was still boring. At least you took care of yourself. For today anyway. Congratulations. Try again tomorrow. Thanks for playing. Okay, I think that was it. I don't know how many endings this game has, but I've been playing for almost four hours now. So I think I need to calm down. I think that's the best ending that I'm going to get. I got four endings out of this game shut in. I really enjoyed this, by the way. This was really cool. And I feel like the fact that the endings weren't all that good and it just leaves it up to your interpretation of what's good. I feel like it touched on the depression like really well. I feel like it wasn't meant to have like a really good ending. Agoraphobia, by definition, because I wanted to do this justice, it says that it is extreme or irrational fear of entering open or crowded places, of leaving one's own home, or of being in places from which escape is difficult. So for us, like if we go outside and we just walk around outside, 
that's nothing to us. But for people who have agoraphobia, it's one of the most difficult things in the world. It's probably like, you know, having like a thousand pound weight on your shoulders and it's just crushing you every time that you have to think about stepping outside. So yeah, it's um, an anxiety disorder that develops into panic attacks. I'm just reading it right here on the other screen that didn't come off the top of my head. But yeah, um, I think that this game touched on those really well because I was just like, man, where are the good endings? But I feel like this is what the developer wanted the game to be about. The fact that, you know, this person is going through all these things. So the ending is gonna be in their point of view as well. And to us, we're kind of just like, well, did they ever get fresh air? I guess we'll never know. I guess the ending's ambiguous. But let me know what you thought about that. Just because I said that just now, that's just kind of just how I perceive the game to be. So let me know what you all thought about this game. Shut in in the comments below. But I really did enjoy this, and hopefully you all enjoyed watching it. If you did, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!